ship tour of the P&O Iona. As always with my ship tours, we'll start from the top and work our way down. So here is deck 19, starting with the sports arena. As you can tell, traveling during December um, in Europe was very, very windy and cold at times. And sometimes the decks would get a little bit slippery and it would be a bit wet. So do watch yourself if you are traveling in the non-summer months, as the deck can get very slippy and you don't want to slip over and hurt yourself. Be aware these splash zones here where the uh, swimming pool area is and for the kids to play in, you can get very wet, uh, especially if you're walking past and there's a gust of wind. So be aware. You can also see here the running stroke jogging track. Uh, I believe it is seven uh, laps is a mile. So it's a really good opportunity to get your exercise in if you are eating, like I was, lots of cake.
we head down to deck 17, you can see that there are these markings here that allow you to play some of the deck games. You can get quoits, shuffleboard, things like that, and you can play with your friends and family. You just need to check out the equipment and you'll be able to have some fun. This got busy on the sea days, but not so much on the port days as it was quite cold. One of the absolute highlights of Iona is the Sky Dome. As you head in through this entrance, you're at the top level at the Sky Bar section of the Sky Dome, but you can see down into what is the amazing pool area here. It's really nice to have an indoor pool um, for swimming when you are on a ship like this that sails in colder climates at times. It's great to be able to get into the pool and have a little swim. There's also some hot tubs down here as well and bars. And as you can see, it's lovely and decorated for Christmas. It's also worth noting that the pool does double as a stage, so at night when the pool closes, it all uh, comes out and becomes a stage for some of the activities and shows, such as Rise, which is their sort of bird-themed uh, Cirque du Soleil style show, and uh, Tribu as well, which is another sort of great sort of tribal-themed show, both of which really, really excellent and highlights of my trip.
And so we head onwards to deck 16. Now this is one of the main decks aboard this ship. Deck 16 is where the all important buffet is and some of the bars as well. So this is where you'll go if you want to get a drink from the bar or if you want to get some food. Now the buffet is called the Horizon Buffet here and it is mirrored on both sides. You will have to wash your hands before you go in as you should anyway. But uh, yeah, you would need to wear your mask until you're sat down. Currently, obviously we hope COVID restrictions will be gone at some point soon, but uh, this will be the case for the near future. When you go into the Horizon Buffet, there are lots of different stations and most of it is a self-service. There are a couple of things that are still behind barriers that you would need to ask for, such as some of the specialty salads and things like that. There's dessert stations, there's grill stations, there's places to get tea and coffee. There's everything you need and everything you could ever want here at the buffet. Compared to other ships that I've been on and other cruise lines, the buffet here was a little bit different. Uh, there were a lot more things that were portioned, ready for you just to take the portion. Uh, so a salad was already in a bowl or um, the dessert was already in a bowl rather than sort of helping yourself to it from a tray. Um, so it was a little bit different there. But there was a good variety and every time we came to the buffet, the, the uh, variety was different. There was different stuff every single day. And of course at night, there's a late night buffet. So about 11 o'clock till 1 a.m. If you are a late, uh, late night time person, come out of a show, you're still a little bit peckish, there is something for you. If you want some ice cream, Sunday's Gelateria on the Lido deck on 16 is available. There's also ice cream available at Ripples down on our lower deck, which will allow you to get things like uh, ice cream bars and customizable ice creams.
As we enter here, we visit the clubhouse. Now the clubhouse is a huge lounge. And the first thing I thought when I walked in here was, wow, this is big. Uh, other ships I've been on and other lines I've been on, the lounges like this are so much smaller. There's so much space in here. After COVID is over and this is at full capacity, I imagine this is gonna be quite a buzzing location. This was quite often used by comedians and also some of the kids club events. Um, so there was often people in here performing um, but generally it was quite quiet, but it was a good place to come and sit if you just wanted a bit of peace and quiet. Now remember I said something about ice cream? Here we are. This is Ripple's Gelateria. They serve ice cream from Snowflake Gelato. Uh, if you don't know who Snowflake are, they own a big place in London, in Soho, and they have multiple taste awards for their innovative flavors and great quality gelatos and sorbets. So this is a really big coup for Iona to have such great ice cream on board. There's a bit of a variety and it is an extra charge.
and welcome to deck seven. Deck seven is the location to be if you want to go to some of the amazing shops on board Iona. If you're wanting to buy some alcohol to take home or some jewelry, a watch, something fancy, something beautiful, there is somewhere to go on Iona. From the shops that sell sort of the P&O branded uh, merchandise to shops that sell uh, Sephora, uh, Radley, things like that, Mulberry as well. Uh, these sort of brands, they're all available on board. So you can go into these different shops and find lots of things. Now every day there would be certain specials and sales on. So do check your uh, Horizon, which is your daily newspaper. And that will allow you to know what sales are coming up, what promotions there are. And there's sometimes really good bargains to be had. Fancy a flutter? Visit the casino. Uh, if you don't fancy a flutter, head right through the casino. Uh, because on the other side is the Headliners Theatre. One thing I was really impressed with on Iona is the Headliners Theatre. This is where some of the main shows are. So you'll find things such as the, the sort of the main production shows. Um, these are all in here. And you will be able to book these at the moment in advance on the app. If uh, COVID is a, no longer a thing, you may be able to just walk in. And sometimes you can just walk in, especially towards the later performances, but the earlier performances do sell out. At the moment, the uh, restrictions for seating are not really being monitored. So uh, you can just sit where you like, which is great. And uh, yeah, the shows in here were brilliant. Digital is not to be missed. It was incredible. As somebody who likes very up-to-date modern productions, Digital is amazing. And it turns out we actually saw the first ever performance on Iona. Uh, they didn't tell us this until after.
Do you like gin? Of course you do. This is Anderson's, at Anderson's Bar and Library. So inside here is the library bar where you can go read books, play board games and things like that. But also in Anderson's, they have their own distillery where they make their own gin Mirabelle on board, which you can purchase and try, as well as some gin flights, which are really great. And opposite that, as you just saw, was Ocean Studios, which is the cinema on board where there's like four different screens with different films showing throughout the cruise. Now, if you're anything like me, you can't start the day off right without a good cup of coffee. And here at the coffee bar in the piazza on the main deck, you'll be able to find this coffee bar. It serves Costa coffee and a variety of different snacks. So there are the cheaper sort of basic baked goods, but there are also these special patisserie options, which are by Eric Glanlard, and you'll be able to purchase those as well. And there's generally a special offer as well during the day, not breakfast time though, uh, from the afternoon onwards, where you can get a coffee and a patisserie cake for I think 4.95, which is not too bad.
Now, I don't know about you, I'm just walking through this gym, but it's tiring me out. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please do like and subscribe. And the following video will be the next and the last in the series where we'll do a review of the ship.